right, the provincial election spotlight will be on the GTA today as the main party leaders have their attention focused on health care and education. The NDP's Andrea Horvath will be speaking here in Toronto to the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario. Health care will be the focus when PC leader Doug Ford visits this afternoon at Etobicoke General. And uh, the Liberals' at Kathleen Wynne has some stops at Sick Kids in Toronto as well as an event at South Lake Regional Health Centre in Newmarket. Of course, we'll continue to watch this on City News. And to other news, drivers, ugh, we dread it. The construction season gets underway here in Toronto. The city announcing they're going to be undertaking 200 projects. 60 of them are major. This announcement was made at Parliament in Girard yesterday. And that intersection, among the first big undertakings, it's going to be closed starting next Monday all the way until June the 4th. And this is for streetcar track replacement. Over the next few months, the city spending $720 million to resurface roads and improve sewers and water mains. Three Americans held by North Korea are now back on home soil as the North releases them as a goodwill gesture ahead of the upcoming U.S. summit. Arms raised in the air. The trio welcomed by President Trump in the early hours this morning. All three had been accused of crimes against the state in North Korea and sentenced to 10 years hard labor. They all appear to be in good health as they got off the plane in Washington. Now this release happens ahead of the much anticipated summit between North Korea and the U.S. A date and time has been settled on but so far has not been made public. Toronto police now investigating how a photo of Blue Jays pitcher Roberto Asuna in a holding cell was leaked to a local news station. Now, Asuna was arrested Tuesday, charged with assault. A security camera photo, which City News has chosen not to show, was published by GlobalNews.ca. The vice president of Global News defending the use of the photo, saying that there is intense public interest surrounding the, the arrest and it is important for the public to see that high-profile athletes aren't given preferential treatment. Not only are police investigating, Ontario's privacy commissioner is also looking into this leak. Osuna is scheduled to appear in court June 18th. All right, a Leslieville home, you can't even live in it because of its dangerous conditions. It may just be one of Toronto's crown jewels of investment properties. Have a look at this. Boarded up eyesore at 28 Woodfield Road. This is near Queen Street East in Coxwell. It is listed for about $700,000. It's been vacant for years until a recent price drop has drawn a sudden surge of interest. If you have the tenacity and the know-how to build a house, uh, this is one of almost a rare opportunity in this city uh, to, to build an, a new build. Yeah, you are going to resell a house for over a million dollars on this lot, well over a million dollars. All right, so initially the home was listed for just under $800,000, even though the listing is being sold as as is and without a key, we are told there are already a handful of offers on the table. Yikes. All right, I know our Adam Wilde is always looking for a new property. Interested? 